that's the CPU. It's not always best practice to use the paste when you're moving things around. It's typically better to use new paste because that's the way it's settled in. You're moving, you're moving it around. It's not going to settle in the right way. Wipe this down with some paper towel. To take this off, you would push this little lever down and pull it towards you or pull it away and let go. So it's going to raise. You'll notice as it raised, this little guy shifted. So lift it up, take the CPU out. You see right here, that's the CPU. I'm going to clean it a little bit more because there is some thermal paste on there. Nothing dangerous. You see, she's clean down there. Can't really tell, but she is. You want to install the CPU. So you'll notice right here and right here, there's two little tabs. That's to tell you exactly how to put the CPU in. One thing that you want to be careful of before you ever touch a motherboard, aside from, you know, ESD, do not touch those pins. If you touch those pins and you bend them, you've lost the warranty on your board. They will not take a board back with a bent pin. Let's get back to this. You see right here and right, and right here, those are the tabs. So they match up with these two tabs. So you're not going to push it down. You're just going to let it fall into place. Make sure it's good in there. So, and I do see a little more thermal paste on there. That's not a big deal, honestly. Put this guy down. Make sure these little fins, for lack of a better term, go right under this little peg here. So push this down lightly. You don't want to force it down. And then you pull this down. Pull it away so that it fits under that bar. And then push it in. So now, your CPU's in there good. Taught you that, so let's move on. Okay, now for the fun part that everybody typically shrieks at, either A, because they don't do it like me, or B, because whatever, there's a thousand different methods to do it, just do it. To apply thermal paste, just put a little bit right in the center. Typically no bigger than a piece of rice, that's a pretty thick piece of rice but it's acceptable. The reason why that works, it's always worked for me, I haven't had an issue with it, is because if you put it flat and use a credit card to smoothing it up, it's going to be smooth on the surface, awesome. You know, if you put a, a dot here, 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 you might have issues because then you're going to have bubbles. But this method is kind of like the credit card method. I put it right in the middle. Then when I apply pressure here, that flattens it out so that it's even all across the CPU. Now I'm going to put the CPU heat sink on here. And just to make certain which one went out, I will be putting these on the center. This is not a biggie for building your PC. This is the fan I have. You may have a different fan. Always go by instructions if you've never installed it. I've installed this particular fan a billion times. I'll go ahead in. The heat sink is not yet touching the CPU. I don't want it to move around yet too much. Pushing down. That is mushing everything perfectly. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. That's good on there. And the fan. When you plug in the fan, your CPU heatsink, you're going to see some say CPU fan. This one says both are CPU fans. Some may say CPU fan, some might say something else. Consult your motherboard manual to make sure where you can plug that in. You don't want to plug it in the wrong place and your CPU not get cooled properly or at all. That's all done there. Let's put this guy in. 